Abdulma. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Before I start working on the Chevy, please help me subscribe to my channel. Click that bell notification so every time I have a new video, you guys will be updated. But I'm working on a uh, 2017 Chevy Cruze 1.4. So right now, the uh, customer complaint is uh, sometimes the check engine light on, sometimes it will turn off by itself. It turn on and off. So right now, um, it turned off on me once. Uh, it was on. It turned off on me once I was driving and then it turned off for about five ten minutes and then it turns back on again so right now it's on and I'm gonna show you the code so the code is for the knock sensor right there p0325 right under the intake manifold right under the uh, push rod right there right on top of the uh, starter right there well, I'm gonna try my best to show you guys how uh, right now I'm laying on the floor so it's kind of hard for me so uh, Right there is the intake manifold. The uh, perch valve is right here. That's the perch valve. And then the starter is right here. So I'm gonna try my best to show you. Right there. Right there. That's the uh, knock sensor right there. Right there. That's the one. That's the one with the uh, connector, the red lock. 13 millimeter that's a knock sensor my uh, 13 millimeter um, socket in I'm gonna break it loose let go I got it loose already so right now the uh, connector is kind of hard to uh, disconnect because it's on the uh, weird position weird angle so I'm gonna remove the uh, sensor first so I have some room for me to uh, disconnect the connector. There you go. Got my uh, knock sensor out. So you're gonna push this uh, red lock back and press on this tab. Pull, there you go. Got it out. Make sure you guys check the pin here. Uh, make sure you guys check the pin inside. Make sure it's not uh, bent, damaged, or corroded. Check the uh, wires back here. Make sure it's not broken or uh, uh, ripped or tear uh, here's my old knock sensor here's my new knock sensor original from GM that's the uh, that's the part number right there there you go that's the part number knock sensor and it comes with the uh, bolt I'll put in my uh, new knock sensor so make sure you have it the same way the same direction oh where's the hole Got it in. I'm in the right hole. Damn, how long is this bolt? Make sure, make sure you have it the right direction. So it's facing like sideways before, so I'm gonna keep it sideways. So I'm gonna tighten it down with my ratchet here. So that's tight. I'm just gonna snug it a little bit. A little bit more. That's good enough. There you go. Now I'm gonna key on to test the uh, knock sensor. So uh, for you to key on, you're gonna press and hold the ignition switch for, for about 10 seconds. There you go. That's key on. Now we're gonna go test the uh, knock sensor. I already tested knock. I already tested it, so I do know the uh, um, knock sensor is bad. The uh, knock sensor code. I'm gonna follow follow the step to diagnose it. So you're gonna uh, have key on key on engine off right there. So for the uh, black and yellow wire, check the uh, pin number two should have one to two volt, and then test the uh, violet and gray should have two to four volt. So if there's voltage, replace the knock sensor. Like if there's voltage, like what it says, change the uh, replace the knock sensor. But if there's no voltage, you're gonna check the circuit. It's gonna be having a uh, circuit problem with the uh, connector wire from the ECM to the uh, connector. I'm gonna try my best to show you guys how to test the, uh, to do the procedure. I kinda have the key on quite a long time my voltage might be low um such a weird angle I can't so right now 
So let me see. Uh, I keep on dropping my phone to my face. So right now, you can see black and yellow, violet and gray. So right now, I'm testing the uh, black and yellow right now. So I have the pin on the left side for the black and yellow. So there should be a voltage, should be close to uh, one volt or higher between there. It's good enough. Um, so I'm gonna use my uh, use my power probe here. Oh my God, it's a weird angle, man. So right now it's saying 0.8. That's close enough to one, because I've been having the key on. So voltage might be low, battery might be a little bit low. So 0.1 on the uh, black and uh, yellow. Now I'm gonna test the, uh, I'm gonna test the uh, violet and uh, gray. So there you go. You guys can see I have it on the next hole which is on the violet right here so violet and gray so on the next hole it should be two volt and up to four between there so i'm gonna show you when i touch it that should be two volt and higher come on there you go you can see it says 2.3 volts right there see how i'm touching it, it says 2.3 so I just confirmed that the uh, knock sensor is bad. On the other one, it's slightly low, but it's close to a volt. That's close enough. So now you guys can go ahead and take out your uh, your uh, knock sensor. So it's the voltage is close enough because I have been having key on right now, so it's kind of low, but it's close enough to where I confirm it's a bad knock sensor. Now just go ahead and put back your uh, knock sensor connector there you go clicks lock it give it a little pull make sure it doesn't come back out yep that's good it's locked now I'm gonna key on I'm gonna hold it for 10 oh my god that's loud I'm gonna hold it for 10 seconds there you go damn so I'm gonna clear the uh, check engine light I'm gonna show you the code again one more time I'm gonna go to engine code code display DTC, there you go. That's the uh, knock sensor code. Earlier, when I try to test the uh, knock sensor, I keep on dropping the phone to my face. Shit hurts like hell. There you go. Code clear. Turn it off. Turn it back on. Dang, it's loud. Yep. So it's good right now. I'm gonna take it on a test drive, but that's it. That's how you test it. That's how you replace it. It's kind of a tight spot. So I'm gonna, let me see, let me turn it off again, turn it back on. Should be good, there you go. Oh my God, the ding noise is so loud. But uh, that's it for this video, guys. So if you guys are new to my channel, please help me subscribe. If you guys have any comment, question, comment down below. Ask me anything you want to ask me. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. But uh, I'll see you on the next video. No, my mouth. Peace.